Well, well, right now one of the one of the goals is we're we're um we're putting together like um a Rambo fan film. Oh, nice. Right yeah. So I'm working with um Mickey Cardoni and Jonas von Zeschwitz from She Died Productions. They have an amazing um short Rambo trailer. Actually, they have a series. I think three or four of them. Is that Rambo Day or something? Has that been going around recently? Oh no, that that's a different one. That's Dana. Um, Is that a different one? Yeah, Dana something. Um, his friends threw him like a bachelor party, Rambo themed bachelor party. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's fantastic. Uh, and they have like, um, like it's intercut with scenes from all the Rambo movies. Oh right. Okay. Really cool. See, I I didn't see the whole thing. I only saw a little bit of it. Uh, but I'm I'm hoping that it's. Uh, it's decent, anyways. Yeah, it's really good. It's it it's, it it hits the heartstrings. Oh, really? Yeah, it's it's really really good. Yeah, I gotta check it out. Yeah. So we're putting we're putting together a like little, um, little Rambo fan film, like no budget Rambo fan film. Right. And, uh, it's moving along pretty good. I think uh, I think we should be shooting by June, probably June sixth. Nice. Yeah, and it's cool because we got. Are you gonna? But location stuff, or is it um, just going to be like, you know what I mean? I th I think we're we're going to do it in Lake Ontario. So okay, like, that should be pretty cool. And uh, one of the cool things is we got Stephen Chang from First Blood. <laughs> oh yeah, coming in. So that's that's pretty awesome. The chest cutter. Yeah. Uh, so he's kind of kind of be. Uh, He's kind of he's gonna be doing his old role in voiceover, and then we're gonna have someone else dressed up like him, but we're gonna shoot him from the back, so he'll have like Stephen Chang's voice. <laughs> yeah, and then, that's gonna be good. Yeah, and then we're gonna have Stephen Chang as uh, probably another another character at the same time. You gotta get a Rambo look like now. Yeah, well, we got one, Mickey Cardoni. Great. Great. Idea. Why does that name sound so familiar? He did um the uh, pick Mick for the Rambo prequel campaign. I gotta, I gotta check. Is he? On, I can probably find him online if I Google him, right? Oh yeah, yeah. He's on my friends list. Let me just. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just write his name. Down. Mickey Cardo. Yeah, it's M I C K E Y C A R D O N I. Yeah, what we get done here, I'm gonna take a look and see what he's uh, what he's doing. Cool, I'll send you. Love, I'll I, send you his I love trailer. Hear that stuff, no? Yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It, we wrote like a whole bunch of stuff for it. It's gonna be. It's gonna oh be, really? It's gonna be great. He's gonna do costumes like the red, or the, the big brown poncho, the headband. Um, I I think that the the poncho makes its way in near the end, more with the twigs and stuff like that. Like the camouflage, and but you oh, know, good. we did as many nods to the movies as we could, kind of. Oh, nice! Like we have a scene where like we used all the paradoxes, so um, we go between like the Rambo movie and then the David Morrell novel, and then you know all the different paradoxes. Oh, cool! Yeah, so like for example, like there's a scene where in the in the novel. Where Rambo, um, they, Rambo's starving, they have him in a pit, and they throw down a live snake, and he eats the snake. Uh -huh. And he doesn't think that it's, you know, about it being venomous or anything. So we did a little nod to that, where that's how Sly got part of his mouth paralyzed. <laughs> in the Rambo movie, you know? So that's why he's got kind of like that. Yeah, we're talking about the curl death, you know? <laughs> Funny. Yeah. That, that's true. Now, have you corresponded with uh, David Morell at all? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I got the awesome, awesome, awesome privilege to sit down. Oh, that's right. You did do that because you sent me that. I remember yeah. now. Yeah, it was that's really, I really, really fun. I was yeah. scared. I was like terrified. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know what the great thing about that too is, man, is that David Morell is accessible. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, here's the guy that literally the father of Rambo, you know, and it, it, that can be a little intimidating, but I tell you, I've had some of the nicest conversations with the guy, and uh, he's, 
he's so easy to talk with, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah, going in, I was kind of scared, you know? And then Yeah, uh, no, I get it. And then once I got talking to him, I just didn't want it to end. Oh, I, I believe me, I get it. Yeah. I get it. There's like so many things I still got to ask him. Yeah. But and you can always go back and ask him. Yeah, definitely. I, I keep touch with him here and there. Um, I think I'll probably get to interview him once he's finished working on... He has a sequel to one of his books coming out. Oh, really? And uh, I think right now he's also putting all the extras into uh, the first Blood reissue. Yeah, when is that coming out? Is it April? Yeah, I think somewhere around there. Uh, yeah, I think that's what he said. He sent me... Uh, I, I sent him something about two months ago, and I remember he, he replied, and he replied rather quickly, too. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I was really surprised to see that he was... He was working on uh, working on it so quickly. So it'll be nice, April. Yeah, I already ordered it. I ordered it when the when the pre order. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I was like, okay, I gotta make sure because it was only fifty or fifty two. So I was like, okay, go for it. You know. Lucky <laughs> three, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see how we we these lines are in pop culture and our conversations every day. We don't even we don't even think that when we say it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, but, you know, go for it, or, you know, it's, it, to me, I, that's the stuff I love about movies, you know, or Clint Eastwood's, uh, any of those things. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, yeah, because it, it kind of joins everybody, you know? It's like, it does. Everybody it really knows does. I know it sounds silly and goof, but it, it really does. Yeah, man. So now, what are you going to do? Are you going to, are you going to try to do, like, um, like webisodes or like podcasts where you like interview people and put it out there. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much how 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 I'm uh, doing it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That's very cool. I'm pretty far in. Like I I I thought I could do all this in twelve episodes, and then I realized, okay, that's not going to happen because it was just so much to cover. Oh, I know. Yeah, and then I started meeting people, and they have like Rambo art or. Or sly art, and then yep. you know, just joining every, trying to join as many people together as I can to get that like one nonstop shop place for Rambo. Oh, uh, totally! Oh my gosh, yeah. I used to. I have some art too that I have done over the years. Of uh, well, it's actually downstairs at my gym. Um, I did some nice Rambo stuff. Uh, I used to do a lot of painting and drawing. I just got away that time. Yeah, yeah, I used to do, a, I, like, like I went to art school for a while, and I kind of got out of it. I don't know what happened, but I used to I used to draw, like, all the time. Like, you couldn't stop oh, really? from drawing, and then, I don't know, once I hit my, like, late teens, I don't know, something happened, and, well, also, I got into music, too, so. Oh, really? Yeah, I was playing, like, guitar, bass, drums, piano, and all that. So you have a real artistic side to you. I mean, uh, you know, it's not just... Uh, creating like what, what we're doing now, but I mean, it's, it's like a musical thing, art side. Yeah, awesome. yeah and then in, in, in 2012, I kind of like, I wanted to step away from music because I'm just, I'm kind of disenchanted with the the way that music industry is, kind of how it's... I hear that. I, I have a good friend of mine who has a, a band, and uh, he, he says the same thing. Same thing. It's like, I, 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 like, I, I feel like if, 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 I'm not saying I'm a public figure, but like, say if you're a musician and a public figure or something like that, you have some sort of, um, you owe it, I think, to the kids of today to send them a positive message and not kind of the stuff that's out there now. Well, yeah, I would agree. <laughs> uh, because, you know, it's funny you say that because I always say to people, you know, we start getting deep into conversations and, and uh, you know, past the the light stuff. I always say, who is an idol to look up to today? And I, and I and I just mentioned this the other day. I'm not talking about you know teachers or you know the police or military or doctors and lawyers. You know we should. All, that's always a given. We should always be very respectful and and, and admire them. But in, in the context of what we're talking about, who who's out there to look up to? 
You know what I mean? The sports figures, there are some very good ones, but there's some also some very bad ones with a, a very, very crappy moral compass. The same goes for pop stars in, in, in the musical world. And uh, I, I don't know how much they're helping society. Uh, that now, on the other side of the coin, they're musicians. They're not idols. But mm -hmm. if you can sort of be more positive and less negative, I don't know. I think that's something you, you have a platform in which you express things. Yeah. And if you can express things in a positive way, even if it's a negative thing in a positive way, I think you're going to do more good than that. Yeah, well, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And then, so, you know, after that, I got, I kind of stepped away from music because I just, I kind of felt it was too, it's too, too out there, you know. Yeah, you like, want to go back to it at any time? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. I, then I got bitten by the podcasting bug after about a year of of doing nothing artistic, and then a lot of people do. Yeah, and then when that hit me, I was just like, "Oh my god, I could do this forever." Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah totally. I, I believe it. Yeah, I think if I had more time, um, I think I would do. I, I think I would do some type of a podcast thing. But the only my problem is is that there's so many people doing podcast things out there. How could I, what could I do differently? <laughs> you know, I mean, I I could sit here share the Rocky hat on on a, a bruised eye and stay in character, but that's ah, I, I don't want to do that either. You know, I, I don't know what I could do differently. Maybe someday, who knows? Yeah. Well, you know, it's I think it, it just comes down to what. To what hits you, you know, like, um, yeah. whatever works best for you. Right, right, you know? right. Like, it's, I, I, I've come up with other ideas that I, I would like to do, like, for, I guess, when this is done. So I'm, I'm saying probably yeah. within the next year. But uh, they don't, for some reason, it just doesn't hit me the same way. Oh, I got you. Is. So it's kind of sad. Like, every time I get to the end of another season, I'm kind of like, okay, two movies left. How am I going to stretch this out? Right. You know, if God forbids, if, if Rambo 5 doesn't happen, I'm screwed. <laughs> no, it's happening. No, it's totally, it's happening. Yeah. yeah. There's exactly. things going into pre-production now that are getting things ready. So, uh, you know, I was, oddly enough, I was more in favor of Rambo 5 than I was of, of uh, Creed 1. Um, I really, on every level, felt there was no need if they were going to do Creed at the time, but before it was confirmed, I said, okay, fine, do Creed, but no reference to Rocky, other than maybe in conversation. Uh, but when they brought Rocky in, I was like, come on, do your own thing. You know, is this just going to be the black version of Rocky? And a lot of people said that. A lot of people have said that on a lot of the talk sites. And uh, I believe it isn't. I believe it is going to have heart. Uh, but I wouldn't have known that if I if I didn't get on set and see the things that I saw. Yeah. Um, they made a believer out of me, so they better not be wrong. They better be right when this movie comes out of Thanksgiving. 